Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this was supposed to come in while I was on vacation, but it came in early and I'm so excited. We're going to be talking about one fragrance that I've been looking forward to trying. I couldn't find it anywhere, and then you guys told me on a live to try to find a decant, and I did, thanks to Newt, uh, one of my moderators. And so today we're going to be doing my first impressions. I just got it in the mail, LeBeau Paradise Garden, and I am super stoked. So we're going to be talking about that now. So without further ado, let's get it. <music> What's good, my great smelling dudes? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Randy, aka Fragrance Dude. Thank you guys so much for joining me for yet another first impression video where I go through and I talk about a brand new release fragrance here in 2024 for men. And I let you know my thoughts in the opening three to five minutes, and then we cut it off and we come back after about 30 minutes to an hour. Then after seven days, I do a full review. Um, but you guys told me I was gonna get the bottle and I'm going to still get the bottle as long as it's good, obviously, but you guys told me on my live that you wanted me to get the decant because the bottles aren't anywhere to be found right now, but I'm super stoked about this. I can barely speak because I, I saw the notes and I really wanted to try this and this was supposed to come in uh, the day I left for vacation, so I wasn't going to be able to review it, but it arrived early and I was so excited. I had to just put the recording on and I was just like, hell yeah, I'm doing this, but before we get into that first impression, Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe if you like my content. Comment below, let me know if you're stoked for this too, if you're just like me. It's just, there's not too many fragrances I get like this for, and this is one of them because the original LeBeau, it was one of my favorite fragrances when it was released. It's still my favorite in the line. It is kind of just like Tonka coconut and a sandalwood mixed together with a little bit of musk. It uh, has a little bit of spice and aromatics in the background, but it's kind of just like one of the only fresh but sweet fragrances that are in the designer realm. And they did a really good job with it. And I can tell you that uh, they released the Le Parfum and the bottle looks cool and the opening is fantastic. It's just there's a lot of hype to it and... I still like the fragrance, it's just there's this weird part in the mid that I'm not a big fan of. It comes off real earthy to me, whether it's the iris or whatever, I'm not sure, but it just comes off very earthy and I'm not a huge fan of that part of it, so it kind of ruins that part of the fragrance, so I would much rather wear the original. Then the notes for this came out and I was like, yep, that's for me, I need to get the bottle, complete the set, but today we're going to be doing my first impression and just cut the shit and start talking about LeBeau. Paradise Garden. Uh, so, let's just spray it on, uh, honestly. Oh, damn it. <laughs> the atomizer hole. There's no atom, there's nothing in the atomizer hole. And so it just started squirting out. Look how much fluid, can you guys see that? Look how much fluid's on my hand. It's like leaking off. Oh, shit. Wow, that's so good. Oh my goodness. Oh yes, this is exactly what I wanted, but it's not exactly what I thought it would smell like. Mmm. Oh yeah. This is a callback to the original without being redundant. So, LeBeau Paradise Garden, you first spray it on. It still has... So the coconut isn't as heavy, um, but it has... It, the one thing about the this one compared to the original is that the original didn't really have one stellar point of the fragrance that you're like, wow, that's the best part of the fragrance. While this one, its opening is miraculous. While this one, the opening is miraculous. So I thought this would be more green because um, that's what it was supposedly like the breakdown was centered around was green tones, but it's not. I mean, it has green edges to it. But this opening is kind of like a mixture of like coconut, a little bit of a fruitiness. It doesn't really come off like fig, uh, a little bit of spice. It's a little bit fresher than both of the other ones. Um, but I can already tell this is better than both of those. I mean, I, I would give the Le Parfum like a 7.5 or so. The original, I'd give like an 8 to an 8.2. I'm easily giving this an 8.5. I mean, this is really good. 
It's still going to be fresh, clean uh, spring and summer for sure. It has a little bit more of a green tinge to it. But again, it's not too prominent. Obviously, in that fig, I was nervous with the note fig. Fig can be really good. Like, I've seen green fragrances with fig, like vintage green and stuff like that. They come off great. But then I've seen them like Fico de Amalfi, where for me, the fig comes off a bit feminine. The fig is coming off in this. It doesn't really smell like fig. It just has this nice, bright, fruity tone. So... Just to summarize the opening here, it smells like a smoother, higher quality version of the original LeBeau with almost like if you've ever smelled like City Rhythm Manhattan. City Rhythm Manhattan has this kind of like uh, fruity green, a little bit spicy darkness to the background of it. And while it's just pieces of it, it kind of is like like 75% LeBeau with pieces of that mixed in. Um, that's what it's coming like to me. So it's just kind of like the LeBeau smoothened out and not one note is shining in here. Like in the original, it was coconut in the La Parfum, it was the pineapple. Um, and this one, not one note is really coming out and saying, Hey, I'm the main player. It's a very nicely blended semi green, semi spicy, but fresh coconut fig, fruity, spicy fragrance. And I really enjoy it very much enjoy this wow yeah so yeah it's still gonna be spring and summer in a bottle it's still gonna be that beachy tone to it um i can't wait to get the bottle i really wish i had the bottle but you guys wanted me to do the decant so don't blame that on me um i'm gonna try to get the bottle before the full review but i will be on vacation so i don't know if that'll happen uh, i will take this on vacation with me now but now that i have that i'll probably wear that whole thing while i'm on vacation um, with that said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you guys on hold for about 30, 40 minutes, see how this dries down. Hope I, I can't see it drying down any worse than, um, it's great. I can't see it drying down any better, I should say, because right now LeBeau Paradise Garden is just phenomenal. It's the best one that there, there is. I mean, it's not like the greatest fragrance I've ever smelled, but in this line and it, it, it's really good super mass appealing so with that said i'll be back in about 30 minutes all right guys welcome back we are doing the dry down here of john paul gautier's Le Beau paradise garden i only had to wait about 30 minutes because i need everything i needed to know about the fragrance i kind of figured it wasn't going to change too drastically um, because of the type of fragrance that you could smell in the opening very very well blended uh, the only one in the line that really does change drastically in the dry down is this one the lay parfum um, but with the fact that this was doing a callback to the original, uh, I kind of knew that it wasn't going to change too much. So again, LeBeau Paradise Garden is the best one in the line. At least at this point in time, it's the best one in the line. Um, the one thing that I can tell you is that just based on this, what I'm smelling, they haven't really adjusted that performance just like they didn't with the other two. The original was about five hours. The Le Parfum was like five and a half to six. This is kind of in that same realm. It's not pushing out too heavily. Um, I don't know how long it's going to last. Maybe it'll last a bit longer than that, but I'm just talking about the projection right here. It still is right on par with the other two. Nothing more powerful or anything. So they didn't fix that, but... This is the best smelling, most mass appealing, best blended one in the line. Um, to me, it kind of just smells like the original LeBeau smoothened out, blended with a fruity tone, and then mixed together with a little piece of this like City Rhythm Manhattan. Uh, if you haven't smelled that, then kind of put that out of your head. So it has a little, it's almost like if you took LeBeau and just had this as the base. Imagine this just as a base, that Tonka, coconut, sandalwood, it's there. And then on top of that, you have some green edges to it. It doesn't come off grassy green, just almost like, like a green tea almost. It's like smooth green tones. And then you have a little bit more musk, even though there was musk in here, it's, this is a little bit more musky. Then you have a little bit of added spice and a little bit of added freshness, and then this fruity tone. So while this one, the Le Parfum had pineapple, this one has this fig, but it doesn't come off too figgy. It just has a little bit of like this uh, kind of spicy fruity tone and it's really nice, a little bit brighter. Um, but with the Paradise Garden, um, 
I'm really enjoying it. It's uh, unique and eclectic while still being part of the line. It doesn't have any redundancy issues. So while I say it does have that LeBeau DNA to it, you could wear the original LeBeau and then the next day wear LeBeau Paradise Garden and people would think you were wearing something completely different. Uh, so again, it still centers around spring and summer. I would still think this is more of a daytime scent. While with that fig and a little bit of that spice, it does allow you to wear it more into the evening as well. And I think this is going to be just like the rest in the line. This will still be a great uh, fall and winter wear as well because they do very well in the cold weather. Um, so basically just picture LeBeau, just a little bit smoother again with some green spices. And then in the opening, you have that fruits as it comes to about, uh, 20 to 30 minutes, I can tell that fruity tone starting to dissipate and you get a little bit more of just kind of like this sandalwood tonka mixture and a little bit of that coconut starts to show its face a bit more, but the coconut, if any of these was lighter on coconut, I would say that it's this one. Um, and so for people who aren't a huge fan of coconut, you might still want to give this one a try because while there's coconut in it, it is way dialed down. Just like, again, there's not one note that really shows its face and says, hey, I'm the most prominent. I'm not like a loam where I'm the ginger or the lana weed alone where it's the cardamom. I'm not like that. I am a a plethora of notes that are very well blended together to make a nice, beautiful uh, fragrance that is super mass appealing. Showed it to my wife and she said, that's very good. And she even said, you should take that with us on the cruise. And I was like, yeah, I get it. Uh, so I'm going to do a full review once I either come back from vacation and get a full bottle or once I wear through this whole decant, depending on which one comes first. Uh, Cause I know I don't want to wait too long to get it out because there will be other new releases, but it's just as good as I expected it to be, just not as green. So if you're expecting something like super green, it's not. It does have a little bit of green tones and spices that the other ones didn't have, but yeah, just picture the original LeBeau, smoother with figs, spices, and a little bit of green tones. That's what this fragrance is. It's really, really good. I really like it and has a little bit of a depth to it as well. So yeah, let me know if you guys are excited about it, if you tried it, what you think about it. And again, I will be back with the full review and a couple other videos. I'm gonna take the my phone with me on the cruise and I'm gonna do some videos on the cruise as well. So you'll see those when I'm gone. So if I don't see you, I'll see you. Peace out guys.